Hey guys, it's Zaley of ZaleyBarclay.com and I am coming to you with a really quick tip and tutorial that really, really, really helps me all of the time because I record so many videos and when you're batch editing like I do, um, I edit a lot of videos at the same time, I don't have time to sit down and try to match things up. So one thing that I do is, so when I'm recording, I use my DSLR and I also use an external microphone which is connected to my phone. So what I do with that audio is I import it into Final Cut Pro along with the camera recording. So usually the camera recording will have its own audio, but I cancel that out. I detach it usually, so I'll just show you how I do that. I detach that audio and then I delete it. But I'm gonna show you a little trick before that. While I am recording, what I want to do to make it simple to sync both audio and video, external audio and video that is, is I actually do a clap so that I can match this up. And when I match that up and I start talking, my audio is synced perfectly between these two items, right? So because of that clap, I'm able to look for the same waveform of audio in both lines and match them up easily after import. Now, one thing that really helps me is when you import your content, what happens is it's like this. So in order for us to see it clearly, I head over to Zoom and I magnify that area probably about four times so I can really see exactly where it is because then your mouth will be moving differently from what your audience is hearing and you don't want that. So when I feel like I've matched it up well enough, I either just, um, you know, eliminate that line or what I do is I detach it, like I said before, and I delete it. Right, so just making sure that I delete it so I don't have it anymore. And then when I hit play, I'm able to see where I clapped and make sure that it is exactly um, synced the way that I want it. And then from there, I'll go ahead and cut that out exactly when I feel like I start talking. Right, so let me know if this was helpful. Hopefully this is a tip that you can use when you are recording your videos. Let me know, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer those down below as well. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for even more tech tips, tricks, and yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.